I am David Cox, the webmaster at theworldtutorial.com, and we're going to do, do a uh, study on how to use the Bible list function in the Word. Uh, we first open with a Bible window here. Uh, don't necessarily need this other window, the Bible search window, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to start off with. Uh, Let's try studying the word atone. We note here that we're in the entire Bible, uh, not whole words, so we get atonement, atoned, or we will later use that. Okay, we search this, and these are the words that we come up with. To make a Bible uh, verse list, you click list, and then over here, these are the, this is where the name is going to be. Uh, here you're going to add a single verse and this is going to be just a reference. It doesn't necessarily have to do, to, you know, uh, not necessarily where the Bible is or anything like that. Uh, here we can make a new verse list. So we're going to make a new verse list. Uh, save this. Here we're going to rename the verse list, copy it, delete it. Okay, so what we're, what we're going to do here is let's add a verse from here. We're going to right click on that and we're going to paste it to the list. Control L. This is do it one by one from a search, right? Okay. We want to do this more. We can right click on this in this panel, select all, and we can then paste it. Or right, we'll select all and you can't right click on the name of the book but on the one of the verses then we're going to paste all 70 in there okay see these two are doubled so we're going to click right click on this oh, what are we doing here okay this verse we want to delete right click on the verse and delete it uh, a tone Let's look at some of these now in the Bible, King James Bible. We're going to click into the Bible window, press S. We're going to see these uh, Strong's numbers. Two words for atonement here. Kipper and Kafir. Okay. Kafar and Kipper. These are the same roots and uh, radicals in in uh, Hebrew. So here are these two two different words. So why don't we do a search on these words and since we have the OR function we can just type in these Strong's numbers. This is only going to work up here searching for strong numbers when their strong numbers are showing in the present Bible version. Go through so we have more. If we go back to the Bible verse list over here, we notice, click into the Bible window and S to get rid of the Strong's numbers for a minute. Computer's a little slow today. You'll notice that some of these uh, in our previous list, we did not have any, I guess you can't do that, Go into the Bible, click no strongs numbers, and come back in there. Gone. You noticed here, okay, we have two a duplicate, which we did not delete apparently. Okay, we have two of these. We have nothing before Exodus here. Over here, we have Genesis. So let's click on this again. We're going to select all, and then we're going to paste all 97 in. Okay. Now, this pasting into the verse list is going to go all the way to the bottom, and that's where it's going to start pasting. So you see here that the new ones from the Hebrews, Hebrew words were pasted in after the... Okay, where did we go to? down to the end of the first section. Romans was the last one in the English search for it. 
and we started with Exodus, which is duplicated, and then Genesis. Start these is the ones that are from this over here. So they're all jumbled up, right? We go in here. We're going to sort the list. Let me redo this a little more further over here. Sort the list, and we want to uh, sort in canonical order. Go back up to the top, and here we can go through, and here we can weed out the the duplicates. Click on the number. We want to delete that one. The reference. Now we have a combined versed list. This combined versed list is going to have from both the Hebrew and also the English. Uh, it's going to have the verses here, right? So let's copy. I'm going to copy the verse list as just references. We can maximize this window in the bottom down here. We have it now, Control V. We will paste it all of this into this window. I'm going to Control Z and undo that. We go back down, minimize this window, make it normal. Let's copy the verse list a second time as is. Now I open this, make this, maximize this book view window, and I just have a delete. Uh, book that I'm making which I use to uh, play around with and here we have all of them con with the verse uh, version number all of the verses here this is very handy to get a large verse reference if you wanna play around with this and get a lot of verses in one particular thing let me just show you uh, this one at the bottom is just text like uh, for word processing or for if you're making a sermon or whatever uh, you can click into something uh, and here we can do different uh, things here with this options here what we want to do here if we want to see these be better to maximize this window and then put this so we can see both text and verses. This is a different way of handling looking at things here. Uh, we also can go back down, make it the normal size, and just gr grab and drag over here. Doing it this way, we can change our Bible versions and we can make it to some other Bible version if we so desire. Uh, we can also uh, go back to the King James, click in the Bible window, click S, and you've got the, your Strong's numbers. So you can analyze the Strong's numbers along with the uh, actual way it, it is uh, translated. Okay, interesting here, thou shalt pitch or cover it within and without, talking about this word atonement. So this basically is how we're going to use the window here, the, the Bible verses. Go, let's go back and make this smaller. Let's get rid of the strongs. Go to the list, and here we can delete the list. We can save the list. Let's save it as atonement. And you can do all these things with the list window. Very powerful function. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you.